Hi friends, welcome to Rishos DIY. Today we will design a earring using GGC treasure bag, the golden harvest. This is the earring that I made. Um, I really like the way this turned out to be. If you wish, you can add this to a jump ring, but it sits perfectly in my box. So I really like um, this earring. So it's very simple to make. All you need is some wire. I'm using 26 gauge wire. You can use 24 gauge as well. But um, this is what I have, so I'm going to use that. So you don't need a lot. But at least uh, an 8 inch piece would suffice, I guess. I'm sorry, I forgot to actually uh, measure the amount of wire that I used for my project. So I don't know. So now this finding we got so as this and some chain I'm using French ear wires you can use any ear wire you have available in your stash and uh, all you need to do is there is a loop up in the bottom um, I mean up on the top of this uh, finding and then there are s multiple loops in the bottom so we start from the top loop on one side doesn't matter which side it is and just have about say a quarter of an inch and then bend that wire so make sure you use your pliers I'm using Zuron tweezer nose pliers is what I'm using take that and then insert the short piece of wire through the loop again you need to tighten it we need to get a couple of wraps here okay so again one more time three times appears to be a magic number for me so just bring that up tuck that in and we got our um, wire secure for the finding so I'm using this uh, bicones the green and the orange bicones from the box you can use any bicones you want these are I believe three or four millimeter I'm not so sure so take this hold it like that and come back from the bottom to the a second loop or the bottom loop um, you can say just make sure your bead sits that way I'm not doing one more wrap I'm just doing just one wrap so I'm loading the next bicone okay and then I'm going from underneath to the top through the second the next hole adjacent to it just make sure your beads are sitting right on top of this winding and not going sideways take the next bicone do the same come from underneath so basically the bicones will sit um, more or less in between two of these loops okay so now take the next bead load it to your wire and then come from the bottom so make sure the bead sits properly on a diagonal fashion take the next one I wish I had 24 gauge so this would be much more secure I have colored wires but nothing close to these two colors so and add the bicones you can use any kind of bead you want as long as it's three to four millimeter that will be perfect for this kind of wire wrapping and
add my last bead and go through the top hole just like that and now I did three coils this end taking my flush cutter snipping it off I'm tucking the tail excuse me I'm catching my breath sorry so let's see how much wire I have left so that way you can take say about four to five inches of wire is more than enough so I still have little shy than four inches and I took some eight and a quarter inch or so so I'll count the chain ten twelve fourteen actually fourteen chains so that's what we need to do take the chain use two sets of pliers I really like to use bent nose pliers and tweezer nose pliers um, so but if you have a flat nose pliers any needle nose pliers will work two needle nose pliers will also work so so take your pliers hold it and you can these cable chains are actually like jump rings so you can twist that open and put it inside this loop then close it if you want you can add a small jump ring also it's totally fine with me but I didn't use a jump ring here just open it up open up the ear wire so count to 14 chains 2 6 8 10 12 and this is 14 so just making sure this one is 14 first I need to make sure I add the this finding and then this chain the 14th loop of the chain once you add that go ahead and close that ear wire shut go back and forth motion and now ready to add my other side so count to 14 chains including the top one 4 6 8 10 12 14 this is the chain we need to open up hold it use your pliers use a back and forth motion and then take this off and then add it here and close it So here we have our earrings ready, said and done. It's very pretty. I really like it. You don't have to have this long uh, chain or so. You can reduce or increase the length of your chain. It's a long earring, pretty long earring for myself if I say so. Um, so, but I really like it. I would wear it. So thank you so much for watching. If you do like the tutorial, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. 
don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification i do upload videos couple of times a week thanks so much for watching have a good day bye